Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Lee and I'm a DIY electric skateboard builder and part of being a DIY electric skateboard builder is making batteries. And yes guys, making batteries is not only dangerous and quite tricky, it's also really expensive to get the tools together to actually start to be able to make batteries. And one of the most expensive tools to buy is a spot welder. And a lot of people elect not to bother buying one and end up subbing out the battery work. That's because if you only ever plan to make one battery, it doesn't really make good financial sense to buy a spot welder in the first place. If however you're like me though, and you've made tons of batteries, then it does make sense to own a spot welder. And in fact, I'm on my second spot welder having had the boss level custom spot welder originally. And if you guys will remember the welding peas, then that period of my life, I'm glad that that is over. I moved on to the Meletrix spot welder, which we did a full video review and build on. And that has been my workhorse ever since. Now I know because it has a counter that I have over 13,000 spot welds on the Meletrix and it has been absolutely flawless for me and we've made quite a few batteries with that welder. But now there's a new guy in town and that is the Flip Sky, Flip Sky, I don't know how you pronounce it, I'm going to say Flip Sky from now on, that is the Flip Sky spot welder and here it is guys in my hands now. I saw that Flipsky were advertising that they were gonna start selling a spot welder on YouTube and I commented on their video saying, I would be quite happy to take a look at this if you wanna send it over. I think it's the first time I've ever asked a company to send me something to review. And they said, yeah, and here it is guys. It's just landed this morning. So still all in the cellophane and looking brand new. It's a fairly weighty box and I can't wait to have a look what's inside here. They actually do this in a couple of different configurations. They do. Uh, one with a foot pedal, they do one with a foot pedal I think and a welding pen and they do one without and I really hope this is the one with a welding pen because I've never had a welding pen and it's one of my biggest criticisms of the Meletrix spot welder. So without further ado guys, let's get into this package and have a look at what we got. Right, as always, I've got my trusty razor blade. So let's crack the cellophane and see what's going on. Now also guys, this is the first video where I've had two cameras actually being able to film me properly. So I don't know how this is gonna come out. I hope it looks all right. Let me know in the comments if you like this or if you don't, you want me to do it a different way. Just let me know guys. But yeah, this is my new camera, Sony A6600 and the old camera, my old best camera, which is 6500 is over there filming the close up stuff. So. Yeah, it's pretty good to have two cameras. It's really nice. Right, let's open this bad boy up. Okay, the first thing that you come across is comprehensive instructions, uh, paper instructions. That's really nice in English. There's no Chinese on here. That's really nice. We'll be consulting that later. And now we have the device itself. I mean, this is really nicely packaged. Okay, we got a couple of cell holders. A couple of those. Some nickel. What looks like some extra welding probes. Foot switch. This is nice, it's a DC jack arrangement rather than a JST plug. Whoa, the welder. This is seriously heavy, guys. First thing that strikes me about this is just how heavy it is. Whoa, I, don't, I think that's a, probably about 500 grams, maybe more. Wow, that is heavy. And then hopefully, yeah. Yes, thank you, Flipski. Oh, nice welding probe. Now this is 3D printed. Um, but that's not a problem, that doesn't bother me. And then we've got, so these are the cables that go from the unit to, to the welding probes, not welding probes, to the thing, what's it called? The Pen. I guess you call it a welding pen. 
and they've also included the cables if you want to put those yeah those copper uh, welding probes into here you want to go handheld these are really nice six gauge cables so they're really thick uh, high quality um, silicone and yeah that is about it guys so let's get rid of some of this packaging and have a look at it a little bit closer. Right, okay guys, so like I said, the um, the unit itself is really, really heavy and really, really chunky. And, and the reason for that is that this is a fanless design. This uh, is completely sealed, anodized black aluminium case, and it just looks gorgeous. It's really, really nice. It fits together really, really well. And yeah, this is fanless, completely fanless, whereas the Meletrics that I'm used to using has a fan, which isn't noisy at all, but sometimes gets caught in cables or whatever. Um, yeah, and sometimes hits things and stalls. It does a really good job of keeping the unit cool, but this is completely fanless, so that's quite a nice touch. And I think that this is gonna keep really, really cool. It's the usual arrangement, exactly the same as the Meletrics with an OLED and a rotary encoder that you can press down. And I believe that this welder is based upon this open source project that the Meletrix spot welder is also based upon. I didn't see any reference of that on their website, so I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that it is. Um, but that's fine. Um, you know, that is, it, it's been working well for me so far. And here's the welding pen, like I showed you. It, it does have a 3D printed handle. Um, but that's fine, that's not a problem. Mine's slightly damaged in the post, but again, that's not a problem. It would be nice if this was maybe, they released the design file for this, you could print your own, maybe make it chunkier or give yourself a nice grip. But there's a lot of copper on this welding pen, and that is gonna mean that this should hopefully stay pretty cool. One of the problems that I have with my current spot welder is it gets too hot to touch after a while, and you end up just having to put it down. Even though you could carry on welding, it's just too hot. But um, this has got quite a lot of copper in it and with it being shielded from your hands, I hope that translates to being less of a problem. You can see here, there's a little micro switch and that's what engages the welder to weld when you have it in the foot pedal mode. Obviously you can use the foot pedal as well, but um, yeah, that little micro switch is what tells it that the welding probes are in the right position. Now that's good because that means that your welds are fairly consistent with the pressure you apply because obviously as soon as you get to a certain point it clicks that means that there's going to be even pressure every time you weld which is really really nice and um, you've got two little nuts per side here to put the probes in the end so that's where the probes go there in the end and then at the top you've got two um, nut and bolts for the wires which are that lovely and i'll just show you closer that sort of really nice, flexible AWG6, so six gauge wire. It was really, really nice. I'm quite happy with that. So I guess the first thing to do would be to put the um, welding probes into the pen and also to attach the wires. So I'm gonna do that uh, quickly. I'm gonna use a little bit of Loctite to do this as well because I don't want them rotating loose. Obviously a loose connection here would be very, very bad. Um, and you want that to stay nice and tight. Interestingly, the holes for the bolts are bigger than the bolts themselves. I'm not sure why, but there you go. Now, polarity obviously doesn't matter at all when you're putting these in. I'm gonna go like this. Oh, lovely, nice and tight. Get the red one done. So those are on, nice and tight. You want these to be really, really tight. So these are the copper probes and they can be inserted into the manual um, welding leads if you like. You can just undo these fittings, slot them in and do them up. But we're not gonna be using that. We're more interested in the pen. So we need to undo these connections here and uh, loosen it off so we can get the the probes in. Okay, so the probes are in the pen now, guys, and yeah, the distance is a little bit odd. Might have to bend these together slightly. That's a little better. Might have to play around with the distance between the two probes. 
I reckon that'd be fine, even for 18650s. I'm so gonna have a look in a minute. Right, so that's built. So I guess we better charge a battery up and see how this thing welds. Okay then guys, this is something else you're also going to need if you've got a spot welder. You're gonna need a balanced charger or way to charge the battery you're using. Now obviously you can use a car battery um, or you can use a LiPo like I'm, I'm using. And to charge this, I've got the B6, the IMAX B6 LiPo or hobby charger. Very, very good charger. And uh, this is essential really for this hobby. Now, just to take you through what's going on here, um, this is a LiPo charge going on here. So we've got LiPo 3S, that's how much charge current is going into the battery. 11.8 uh, volts, 11.89 volts, that's the current voltage of the battery. We're on a balanced charge. So this is gonna take about 20 minutes to charge. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go make a cup of tea and then when it's done, we will get some welding done. Oh, cup of tea in hand and a penguin bar. I was actually thinking earlier when I was getting this that um, you guys probably don't know what a penguin bar is, do you? It's a very famous, very average English chocolate biscuit. So I have a cup of tea. Mm. Anyways, battery is charged now. I do want to mention something about this battery that I use. This is a 3S 5000 milliamp hour battery and it has a C rating of 40 to 50. That means that this battery can discharge 40 to 50 times its capacity. So this is a high discharge battery, but it's not as high discharge as they recommend. So Flipsky recommend that you um, have a 60 C battery. Now, I recommend for any spot welder um, that you have two of these batteries and you parallel them. Now, yes, that can be a bit tricky. You've got to get them both to the same rough voltage before you parallel them together. But this battery runs incredibly hot when I spot weld and can only provide so much current. So two in parallel can easily provide the current. The batteries run a lot cooler and so you can get more welding. I'm hoping with the pen and the large copper bus bars on this welder that Actually, the limit will probably be the battery. So I will no doubt have to pick up another battery. I've been thinking about it for ages. I just never got around to doing it. So anyway, without further ado, guys, I think we should plug it in to the welder and see what happens. So yes, guys, it's the same interface as the Meletrix that I'm used to. Auto pulse, so you can have it to pulse after a certain amount of time, as soon as the probes touch uh, metal, as soon as they see some conductivity, you can, you can set a delay as well. So when I auto, ah, okay. That feels counterintuitive to me. So when you turn it left, it increases the number. And when you turn it right, it decreases the number. That feels so counterintuitive to me. <laughs> yeah, that feels weird. That just doesn't feel right. Uh, welding pulse duration which is the standard thing. So I can do 100 milliseconds. So auto pulse is gonna enable that as soon as this conduction, after a set amount of time that you dial into the delay, that's gonna make the weld. If you have that off, it means you're gonna to have to use a switch, either the foot pedal or the um, pen switch. There really isn't much to, to talk about other than that. Right, so we're obviously gonna be using the probe which we can plug in. Now, obviously we're going to be using the foot switch, which we can plug in. Now we have to be really careful, guys. We don't want to, if we activate that, it's gonna tell the welder to weld and if there's nothing to conduct between them. That could be a problem. So I'm going to go and get a Jankill battery, some nickel, and let's have a go. Okay then guys, I've got myself some janky horrible batteries. I think I pulled these out of one of those dodgy packs ages ago. I've got myself some nickel. I've got some um, 0.15, I think it is, um, by 27 mil. And I've got some 0.2. This is significantly thicker. A 0.2 is harder to weld with, obviously. This welder, or Flip, Flips guy, claim this welder can weld up to 0.3. I don't have any 0.3 but I've got some 0.1. Actually, I've got some more janky cells here. I've got like a brick of 30Q batteries, um, which you can see I've already cleaned up before these have been spot welded previously. So let's have a go. Now, obviously normally you wouldn't weld nickel like this, 
that's like all sharp and stuff and I will be taking this back off again but just for science we're just going to weld these pieces on all right then let's start I tell you what this is 0.15 so I'm just going to turn this down right so there we go that's not welding let's go for a weld nice really nice let's try again oh I like this I like the pen. Very, very neat. I'm very consistent with that pressure on the weld. Let's try positive. Obviously these are harder to weld guys on the positive. The fixed spacing of the probes is actually really advantageous. If you know where you are on the positive, because normally welding positive probe, positive um, ends of cells, it's quite difficult, but with the pen having that fixed space, you can uh, you can see where you can know with confidence that you're not going to go over the edge of where the positive terminal is. Yeah, that's nice. Oh man, I'm really sold on this pen. It's very very quick. Obviously, I'm putting far too many welds onto these cells because I'm just testing. Really good. Right, let's step it up to the 0.2. Let's see what's popping. We need to increase the pulse duration now for the 0.2. Yeah, that's nice. Oh yeah. I love how consistent this pen is. This pen is super, super consistent. I don't even feel like the temperature's barely, it's barely even warm. The wires, I mean, there's a no, there is a notable temperature change, but with them being so thick, they're also quite cool. Yeah, I'm sold on this pen. I am sold on this pen. So please the, don't look at these welds and go, bloody hell, Lee can't weld. These are um, just random test welds, but you can see that's the 0.15, that's the 0.2. Weld penetration's good. Not too hot, not too cold. Yeah, these are good welds and we can try and pull them off. Don't try this at home, guys. This is dangerous. <laughs> Bloody hell. <sighs> Can't get them off. It's actually just ripping the nickel rather than taking off the spot welds. The spot welds are staying on, so... Yeah, that's the 0.2 as well, so that is a pass. Yeah, really good. I think this is a pretty good welder. This looks like it's going to be really good. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be using the electrics anymore. I think I'm going to be using this Flips guy. I hope it proves to be reliable, um, but the initial impressions of this thing are it's really good. I'm going to need to do, I'm going to need to make at least one or two batteries before I can give a proper review of this thing, but I think initially that, yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. I think it's a solid choice. It's $274 currently. Um, they do have a Black Friday deal on, but by the time you guys see this video, it won't be Black Friday anymore. But for $280, I think you get a pretty solid welder. Um, and I have a feeling that I'm not gonna use the electrics anymore. I need to make a battery with this welder before I give some full and final conclusions. But I do think that this is going to be a really good option for people and my initial impressions of it, initial impressions guys, is I think this is really good. So I'm gonna leave it there guys. Um, I'll come back to you, I'll let you know how I'm getting on with this welder in the future when I've made a couple of matches with it. But yeah, definitely thumbs up from me, Flip Sky. Well done. Thank you.